Hello fellow homo sapiens! Today I have a bare face on, no makeup or anything because today I wanted to share with you guys my Accutane experience so far. I am no health professional or anything, this is just a patient sharing with you guys what I have experienced with Accutane. I'm not done with the treatment yet, I have two more months to go. I've been on Accutane for three months and today is the start of my fourth month. I actually had an appointment today and I just got home from that. So a little background history. I started to have acne when I was 17 years old and that was my senior year of high school so yeah it was very horrifying to have acne on your last year of high school At first, I thought it was all going to go away. There, there was just a few pimples here and there. Then the pimples started coming gradually, and I thought, um, this is not normal. And my parents were actually telling me to go to a dermatologist, but I didn't want to because, because I wanted to find a product that is readily available to help my face. But that didn't work out, apparently. No matter what I tried from the drugstore, from Sephora, nothing was working on me. I didn't seek treatment till I was 18, and was out of high school. So I went to a dermatologist to ask them check out my face and stuff. I thought they were going to prescribe me Accutane because I knew of Accutane. I think anybody who has acne knows of Accutane. So my face got checked out and they prescribed me doxycycline instead, which fun fact is also a treatment for chlamydia. The nurse suggested doxycycline because it's less harsh than Accutane. So I thought, hey, why not? I obviously trust this nurse and what she's saying. So I took two doxycycline pills a day for a few months and it took me a while to notice some difference on my face. It did eventually work and I did notice that my face was starting to clear up. I was also prescribed with Retin-A cream along with Dexacycline which I applied on my face every night and that thing was awesome. That's definitely the medication that helped me the most before taking Accutane. So when I thought my face was all good, I stopped the pills. For a while it was alright, but then the horrible acne came back. So I went back to taking the pills, but it didn't work as well as it did the first time I started taking them. I obviously went back to the dermatologist to get some help, and the nurse that assisted me this time suggested that I take Accutane, and I was more than happy to say yes. That day the nurse told me to take two forms of birth control. She had me put on birth control pills. It's quite a process to go on Accutane. They even give you this little booklet. You get this special ID number and I had to take this little questionnaire. I had to take that little quiz before they could prescribe me the medication. At least that's what happened to me. So that's my little story. This is how my face looks after three months of Accutane. I've been very happy with the results so far. The usual side effects that the nurse warned me that I may get were dry lips, hands, and scalp lower back pain and some joint pain. And the nurse also warned me that I may have dry eyes. My eyes didn't really get dry. I mean, they're a little dry, but nothing so bothersome and I didn't even buy eye drops and all is good. With the joint pain, I felt it in the middle of the third month. Didn't bother me a whole lot, but it was noticeable. As for lower back pain, I don't think I got lower back pain. If I did, it would be because I was tired and I would associate it with being tired because I was tired. I wouldn't usually blame that on the Accutane. As for the dry lips, the lips, so painful. If I don't have Carmex on, my lips would hurt like crazy. My lips have been badly chapped before but it's nothing like this at all. The corner of my lips really hurt and sometimes they would even crack and bleed. Same thing for right here at the bottom of my lip. The edges of my lips are the parts that hurt the most. So I would get cracks on my lips right here. There was a point where if I would smile really wide it would hurt. Carmex has always worked for me, but I think I'm gonna try Vaseline instead from now on and see how that works out. I will definitely let you guys know on how the whole Vaseline versus Carmex thing goes on my next update. My hands did get dry, but they're not that dry anymore. Maybe it was from the soap I was using at the time, but I usually moisturize my hands every night, but there was a point where this part, the back of my hands, were super dry. It was so weird and scaly. It's never happened to me before. I would just use hand cream all the time and it eventually went away. I would also use the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream on my hands, which works amazing on hands. It definitely made my hands feel really soft. My hands would also get dry over here, like in between fingers. It did bleed once right here, I think. And I got it on the book that I was reading. And you know there's a way to take off fresh blood off of a book? It's pretty fascinating. I think besides the dry lips, the scalp was 
really bad. My scalp has a bunch of scabs to the point where they bleed sometimes. That's how dry my scalp was. It's getting better now. The trick to the scalp is the shampoo that you use. I use two shampoos. I would use Sensen Blue. I think that's what it's called. I would use that first on my head and then I would apply my normal shampoo and then apply my normal conditioner. Ever since I started using the Sensen Blue, man oh man it helped a lot like the scabs definitely lessened there's still some bleeding sometimes but it's not as bad as it was before if you used to have a very oily scalp say goodbye to the oily scalp because you are gonna have a dry scalp my hair doesn't really have a dry texture it's just normal um this is my normal hair it doesn't get greasy and i love that i actually really like that about it i also had a um, dry skin overall like a dry face Skin. That's what these scars are right now. This is scars from me picking on the dry skin. I just can't help it. My face used to be combination oily and now it's normal to dry. What's helped me a lot on my dry face is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. As I said earlier, this works on the hands, this works on the face, elbows, bodies, knees, toes. This works everywhere and it's amazing. Very versatile cream. I highly recommend you check this out. I've been using it since before I even started Accutane. Another product that I would use is the Josie Moran Argan Infinity Cream Intensive Creamy Oil. This is more of an oil-based cream. It's very oily. My skin also loves this. It just really helps with the dry patches. I really like both of these products, especially when they're working together. But if I had to choose one over the other, I would definitely choose the Ultra Repair Cream. Whew, my cheeks all of a sudden got red. I will do another update after the whole treatment is over. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave them in the comments below and I will try my best to answer your questions. But again, remember, I'm just a patient and I'm not like a dermatologist or some kind of acne expert. Keep that in mind when I answer your questions. I'm just speaking from my experience. So I hope you found this video to be very helpful and thank you for watching. Bye!